Tom. Welcome to a brand new week. It's uh, it's actually Monday. It's Christmas Eve. Uh, yesterday I didn't do terribly much. Legs a little bit black. Let me s step into my bedroom here. Uh, didn't do terribly much yesterday. Hung around a little bit with my with my family. I watched uh, The Incredibles two. It was a pretty good movie. It was uh, it's about what you expect from from an Incredibles sequel, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. I was just sort of like lazed about. I'm really enjoying my time off here, which makes me feel guilty that I'm not like streaming or doing anything. Well, I guess guilty's not the right term, but it, I just feel like I'm being lazy, you know? Like, I've been working pretty much every day for the past, like, seven or eight years, and it doesn't feel right to take time off, you know? It doesn't matter how overworked I feel or anything like that, it just, uh, or like, even if I feel like I deserve a vacation, it just doesn't feel right to take time off. So uh, I'm a little bit anxious to get back to work, to get back to streaming, to get back to making videos. Fortunately, I had a huge backlog of Pokemon videos set up. But uh, right now, my family is having a uh, Christmas party for uh, for our family. And a lot of people are here. And uh, I'll just sort of step around the room uh, and show what everyone's up to, what everyone's doing. I hope there's nothing embarrassing of mine from from Tom's past just sitting here somewhere. It's actually kind of funny when you think about it, because, like, so this bed here was against that window, and in this corner here was a TV, and that was the original set for the first episode of Smash Fighter. And uh, the final set for Smash Fighter was actually just across the hall when Seth was like, wait a minute, this is my house, because by the time we finished recording Smash Fighter, this room had changed. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Anywho, uh, let's enjoy the Christmas Eve party and hopefully have ourselves a very Merry Christmas. It is Christmas! Or to anybody not celebrating the holidays, Tuesday. Oh man, today was uh, one heck of a day. I got a, a lot of really nice gifts. Uh, from plenty of uh, from from a family and my friends, my uh, my uh, brother and his wife are from uh, live in uh, live in Ohio, so they got me uh, they got me Buckeyes, which are basically I think they're like peanut butter cups on crack. They're like much worse for you than peanut butter cups, but they are so ungodly good. Uh, I also got underwear. You know you 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 need underwear. Everybody needs underwear. Um, there's just a lot of good, uh, a lot of good, uh, gifts all around that, that I could use. I generally, like, don't bother them with stuff that I would need for work, because, first off, it's a ta- it's a tax write-off for me, so it's much easier. Uh, and second, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just that, uh, <laughs> I'm always afraid when it's like, oh, I'll get you this game, they'll probably give me a game that I've, I've already had, so, you know. But, anyway... Oh, this painting as well. Uh, my mom, uh, I, was, I was telling my mom a while ago that, uh, that I needed some stuff to, uh, to decorate. So they got me uh, a bunch of um, uh, blueprints and like patents of, that, uh, of uh, Nikola Tesla inventions. And my mother also painted me this. It's really good. <laughs> so, uh, so that's going up in the, that's going up in the, uh, the house once I figure out how to hang portraits uh, the correct way. Anyway, after we opened uh, opened the gifts, uh, we uh, sort of sat around for a while, uh, ate food, like breakfast stuff. Uh, then we all got ready to go and headed to my grandmother's house. Um, usually, they would come; uh, she would come here as well as a bunch of other members of my family. But instead, we went over there because I believe I mentioned this before. She had back surgery, uh, so we went down there to uh, to spread some of the Christmas cheer. And, uh, you know, we talked for a while, we, we ate, I believe, uh, we had, uh, uh, the traditional Christmas, uh, uh, fare of lasagna, and, uh, my, uh, my, my sister-in-law, uh, my brother's wife, who I guess would be my sister-in-law, uh, is, uh, is, uh, I can't remember if she's allergic to gluten or a celiac or if there's even a difference, so she ended up getting, like, something else, uh, but, you know, it was, it was all well and good. We played uh we played Exploding Kittens uh, the the oatmeal uh, card game. That game is a lot of fun because it's it's very much about kind of reading your opponent, reading the situation, 
trying to figure out what the you know the what the odds are in in terms of g- going against you. It's it's very interesting. I didn't win a single game. Uh, in fact, every time we played, people who had never played the game before ended up winning. So that was uh, that was rather interesting. Uh, and then I gave my grandmother her gift, the uh, which was I, th- I I definitely mentioned this previously in the vlog. It was the um, uh, the song that I sang, uh, the the prayer by Celine Dion, which uh, she wanted me to sing for her for a funeral. Um, so uh, I, I I gave that to her. She hasn't she hasn't listened to it yet. Um, I don't like listening. I, I like seeing like reactions for a lot of things that I do, but the one thing I don't like seeing reactions to is me singing. Especially when it's a song as difficult as The Prayer, because that's a really hard song to sing. Uh, but anyway, once we finished all that up, we came back here, sort of lazed around a bit. Um, my dad and brother ended up watching some basketball games and football games on, uh, on uh, TV in the next room over. And I sort of putzed around for a little bit, and now I am heading to bed. Let's see, I've got three more days left here until I fly back to Texas. Probably going to end up seeing Sondalin and Cat again in the, the not-too-distant future. Uh, by which I mean tomorrow. Uh, and then trying to figure out uh, what I'm going to do for the rest of my time here and then fly back to Austin, Texas. So with that done, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. It is Saturday. And, well, it's uh, it's technically still Friday. It's like 2 in the morning on, on Saturday, but whatever. Uh, and I'm back in uh, beautiful Austin, Texas. Back uh, home once again. There's my bed. I missed my bed. I'm going to sleep in said bed. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, I didn't really vlog a lot the past couple days because generally I kind of did the same thing I did for the first few days when I was at my family's house and just sort of maxed and relaxed uh, pretty dang hard. Uh, I, I did like absolutely nothing while I was home. But anywho, uh, well, so let me let me recap what happened over the past uh, few days. Day after Christmas, I uh, just sort of hung around for a little while and went to my uh, my friend Sondland's house. Uh, I, I, where I visited Sondalin, uh, Kat, and Kyle. They're great friends of mine. I, I look forward to seeing them at, at every chance I get. Uh, I've known them for so long, and, and it's just so nice to hang out with them. But, uh, anywho, after that, uh, well, I guess Kat wasn't there, so I guess it was just Sondalin and Kyle I hang, hung out with. But I hung out with Kat a little bit before, uh, when we went, when I went to, uh, to, uh, the Jalot Castle. I hung out with Kat. But anywho, uh, day after that, not much really happened. Although, uh, actually, I, I should go back a little bit. So, December 26th, after we got back from, uh, from Zonal and Kyle's house and cats, um, my brother and his wife were making a steak in a, uh, sous vide cooker that they just got. Now, if you're not familiar with sous vide, basically how it works is you take uh, you take like steak after after having like marinated or or given it like dry rub or whatever it, uh, you do with a steak. I don't know. I don't cook. Uh, and you put it into a a bag and then you vacuum seal it. Uh, if you don't have a vacuum sealer, then just do your best to suck as much air out of a out of a ziploc as possible and then seal it. Um, Heat up. You use like the sous vide thing to heat up water like a certain uh, relatively low cooking temperature. They did it around like 133, and then you stick the bag of steak in. You can do it with other meats as well, but they did it with steak. You can stick that in the water, and then it cooks for like about an hour. And then when you're done with that, you know it's it's safe enough to eat, but it looks kind of like weird. Like it, it it almost looks like like raw, but just a little bit grayer. So generally, what people do after um after they uh, they sous vide something is that they'll they'll uh, they'll sear it on a on a on a uh, grill or in a pan which is what they did and my god that was really good steak um it was uh i don't remember what the cut of the steak was i don't think it was sirloin but it was it was still like it was delicious very very tender uh, uh yeah very tender uh seasoned really well and it was one of the best steaks i've ever had day after that i basically did nothing Hung around the house. I played Smash Bros. basically the entire day. Um, I've I've been. I think I've got like 600 of the uh, of the spirits by now, uh, just from playing uh, the spirit board. But that's neither here nor there. And uh, today or yesterday, rather, 
I uh, I got I uh, woke up uh, relatively early, packed up. My dad and I drove to Boston to uh, for me to catch my flight from uh, from Logan to Dallas, Dallas to here, and now I'm back. Upon returning here, I discovered a care package from Sondland and Cat, and there was a lot of stuff in it, but I put most of it away already. So I'll just show you a little bit of what I got here. Uh, they do they do merch at some conventions. So this is one of them. This is a, a series of of different uh, Zelda enemies. You got a, a Wolfos down here, a Bomb Chew from Majora's Mask, a Deku Baba. Actually, two Deku Babas. One from one in the uh, the design of uh, Wind Waker. One in the design of Ocarina of Time. You got a Lionel. You got I forgot what these things were called, but they were in Wind Waker. Uh, Wizrobe, uh, Lizalfos, uh, Stolf. St Liz, Liz, I don't remember what the lizard stuff was called, but there's, there's a bunch of different uh, enemies from Zelda on there. And this is another one of their pieces of merch where it's the many faces of the hero. Uh, I would like to read off some of them for you. Figure one, Mr. Old School. Figure two, uh, m met Chris Houlihan. I don't remember the reference for that one, but uh, I she, I can't remember the, the reasoning for that one. Figure three, the one everyone knows, Zachary of Time. Figure four, the tune, which is Wind Waker. Figure five, me, myself, and I, and him, which is uh, Four Swords. Figure six, the headgear uh, esthete, uh, I think is how you pronounce that, which is a uh, minish cap. Figure seven, the, th the furry. Uh, figure eight, likes trains. Figure nine, the righty. Figure ten, flat, but but in a good way. And figure eleven, survivor man. So yeah, they, they gave me some of their posters. They uh, so sent me this this drawing uh, as well of of a machamp drawn by by Johnny Flid. Uh, with a little sticky note on it that says touch my bicep. I think it actually says touch my bicep underneath there. Uh, no, it does not. It's, it's just got a signature underneath there. Uh, but yeah, they sent me a lot of stuff like also like toiletries and whatnot. This also sent me a really nice shirt. This is the shirt. Uh, I'm not really showing the shirt that well, but that was the shirt. Uh, but yeah, we're back home now. I'm gonna get some video stuff done tonight so that way I'll have something available to show tomorrow because I because I been sparse not really I haven't really been prepared in terms of like my posting I had stuff uploaded but I didn't do any of the metadata for it so I decided not to let it go live and just you know do that so I'm gonna get some metadata stuff done for a video to go up tomorrow and then I have to edit last week's vlog and this week's vlog and figure out all the stuff that I gotta catch up on before you know all that I also have to stream a bit more and next week I'm going to uh to uh, 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 National Harbor, Maryland. So I've, I'm doing just so much in such a short amount of time here. So hopefully in January, I'll have a little bit more time to relax. But anywho, I gotta get back to work a little bit and then I'm heading to bed. Actually, I'm not heading back to work just quite yet uh, because uh, also while I was on the flight back to Austin, between the Dallas-Fort Worth and Austin flight, uh, I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is pretty neat. Uh, a lot of people would be f further than I am uh, in in 10 years time of, you know, actively having a following on YouTube, but I'm not most people. Anywho, uh, I, I can do better, and I'm going to do better, and it, it's, uh, it's, it's great to, uh, to be able to finally be in, in six digits of subscribers. And I got a long way to go still. But, you know, that's the ever, uh, the, the, uh, ever lengthy life of a creator, you're never satisfied with where you are. Anyway, back to work. It is Monday. You heard me right. We're still going on this week. It is Monday, December 31st, 2018, which means it's New Year's. And I should also tell you that the vlog is going to be taking up a different format from now on. Uh, I'm going to be starting the week on Tuesday for a couple reasons. The first being that it would be nice to, to sort of start off the vlog with saying welcome to a brand new year, unlike I did last year at the beginning of this this crazy trip I call a vlog, where I did that on the uh, the second day. The other reason is that I go to a lot of events that are, happen on the weekend, so it would be nice to sort of be able to capture the entire event in one vlog as opposed to dividing it at Saturday and then starting back up again on Sunday. Uh. And Tuesday is usually the day that I am I, I either go back on or that I'm already home on. So it'd be nice to do that as well. But for now, let me do a little bit of a recap on what we did for the past couple days. Mm. Well, for now, I, I'll, you know, I'll get to the food in a second, but for now... On Saturday, I streamed Twitch Plays. Twitch Plays. Twitch Sings. On, uh, on Sunday, I streamed Super Smash Bros. World of Light. And on today... 
today being Monday, I streamed more Banjo-Kazooie uh, Nuts and Bolts. And my takes on each of those is that uh, Twitch Sings is a lot of fun. There are a lot of uh, songs that I thought I knew that I uh, don't actually know. But anyway, uh, there's that. Uh, <laughs> so, World of Light is fun as always. It gets challenging in some of the areas, but I persevere and I try to press on as best as I possibly can. And finally, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts is awful. Well, it's not awful. It's There's some things that require, like, you just sort of, like, grind it out. And it ultimately depends on, what, on the kind of cars you build. You really have to sort of trick the game into, like, doing what you want with the physics in order to do certain things. Also, a lot of the land races can be won with boats, or with planes. And there's a glitch to make, like, a really uh, incredibly fast plane, so the, all those are really, really easy. But yeah, not really much went on... Uh, not really, not much really went on during uh during a lot of the the rest of the weekend. I just sort of pl like did those streams and nothing else because I'm still kind of recovering from travel, and I gotta travel again in in two days. So, yep. Right now, if you're wondering what the singing is, I'm watching uh, Zelda Thon right now. Actually, yeah, this is another thing I did. I went to Best Buy and bought a Chromecast for that TV because uh, those are really useful to have. You just want to sit on the couch and watch um. Watch like YouTube videos or Netflix or something like that. You all control you control it completely from your phone, or if you have a Google Home, you control it from that. I think the Fire TV is the same way with like an Alexa. Uh, I also ordered uh, some P Terry's, cause why not? We can ring in the New Year with some burgers and fries. I don't have any champagne. I'm not gonna get crunk this New Year's. I'm probably gonna get crunk at Magfest in two days. Ugh. So yeah. Oh. Sorry, a piece of fry got stuck, like, right out of my soft palate there. But anywho. Uh, oh, man, what else is going to be going on? At the start of the new year, I do want to make three different uh, compilation videos for 2018. Best of my YouTube channel, best of uh, my Twitch channel, and best of the vlog. And there's another thing i got to do, which is celebrate 100,000 subscribers, which I might do a video that's sort of, uh, sort of a recap of everything I did from... Um, from uh, the, my beginning of my YouTube career to now, and uh, sort of sort of go in on that and just sort of recap everything I did, whether I'm proud of it or not, and uh, and do that. But man, I've got a lot of work to do. I also have to edit last week's vlog, this week's vlog, and I don't know. If, I'm I'm gonna try to get those done before I end up going to Magfest. But so if you at least see if the patrons at least see last week's vlog tomorrow, then that's a good sign that I got uh, that I got all the vlogs done. But man, we're in the new year with burgers, fries, and Zeldathon. So that's gonna be fun. I think, oh, I played Cards Against Humanity with uh, with the Derp Crew as well. Uh, I didn't record it because a lot of the times when uh, when we play games like that, it just ends up being uh, view cannibalism. Because uh, like, oh, we we you know you know Chilzy and Gollum posted all these, uh, so. You know, I I'll only watch it on one of their channels, kind of deal. So I, I really don't see a point in in uh, recording games where everyone more or less sees the same thing anyway. The only difference is that like you can see my hand, uh, as opposed to like everyone else's hand. But like ultimately, what it comes down is to the cards that we played. Uh, but yeah. Aside from that, uh, yeah, gonna be ringing in the new year here and. Before we end off this year, I would like to thank all of my patrons on Patreon who have, uh, who helped support my channel for the past year, I suppose, because that's when I started the Patreon. The Patreon, uh, the Patreon was initially to, um, sort of offset this series, because, uh, th this vlog, I should say, because, like, uh, I wanted to do a vlog for a while, but I didn't really know how to get kind of started on it, and also, like... I'm hoping to do more with the fact that now I've got some, uh, some stuff, you know, some, uh, back, or not really backlog, but, like, some, some money saved up now that, like, my Twitch channel's taken off more, the YouTube channel's doing pretty well now, and, and on top of, like, the Patreon stuff, and, uh, hopefully more, like, Patreon-exclusive videos, because I started doing, uh, Grugnug's Quest, which is, uh, a Skyrim, like, a Skyrim roleplay series where I play an orc named Grugnug. Uh, and he's gonna go throughout the world of Skyrim, just sort of, sort of being him, being a, it, think of it kind of like Freeman's Mind, except like on the fly and improv, because I, th I'm pretty sure they play. Uh, Freeman's Mind was relatively planned out. So yeah, 
So thank you to all the patrons on Patreon. Uh, if you want to, if you're not a patron already and you want to check that out, uh, you can ha you can uh, view the link at the end of the video, or you can uh, well, there's other ways to do it. Uh, look at that down in the description. There we go. That's how that normally goes. Whew. So anyway, 2018 uh, ending off here. I hope you all had a good one. I certainly did. But I will see you all next year. Later.